Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we convert a trigger or event into a promise or use async await? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is working with a callback function that uses post message to communicate between a main window and an iframe. When the iframe sends a message back, it triggers a callback. The goal is to convert this callback pattern into a more modern async await structure. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To convert a callback function into a promise, we need to modify the existing bridge class. Let's start by creating a new method that returns a promise. In this method, we use the promise constructor. We call the existing post method to send the message, and then we listen for a one-time event that resolves the promise. Now let's see how to use this new post async method in your code. Instead of using a callback, you can now use async await. This approach allows you to handle asynchronous operations more cleanly and readably. You can now easily manage the flow of your code using async await. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert a trigger or event into a promise, you can use a factory method. This method returns a higher order function that creates a promise. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert a trigger or event into a promise, you can define a future function that wraps your event handling logic. This allows you to use async and await for cleaner code. In the event function, perform your actions and call resolve when done. This is especially useful for handling events like those from IndexedDB. Alternatively, you can create a more general purpose promise class called PromiseX, which allows for custom resolve and reject methods. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.